Hey, what's happening guys? Jay here, smarthelping.com. I'm doing a how to ca calculate customer lifetime value in a SaaS business. Software as a service, or really this could be used for any kind of recurring revenue business. Let's let's uh, build it here. So, um, oh, actually before I forget, um, don't forget to check out smarthelping.com. I've got all kinds of SaaS businesses here. You can check the SAAS tab at the top. I've done full financial models for all kinds of different um, strategies. And, uh, you know, check it out. If you buy the bundle, you do get access to all the templates I ever add to the bundle, as well as all the templates currently here, or you can buy them individually nearly Every single one of them has a customer lifetime value calculation. So I'm going to show you that here today. Um, so what do I need to know for customer lifetime value? Well, let's just show it on a monthly basis. We want ending monthly recurring revenue as an input. Let's get our formatting here. Get a light yellow, get a blue, royal blue. And let's say here's my... Now let's format all this actually. Okay, so any MRR is some number, let's say it's 25,000. And your ending customer count for that 25,000, let's say it was 1,250. Okay, and we want to say your cost of goods sold was, and this is going to be a dollar actually, dollar value. Let's say your cost of goods sold was 6,000. So these are some basic inputs or, or values you'll have on the financials or the pro forma um, or somewhere in the company you're going to have to find it. Um, so any monthly recurring revenue, any customer count, cost of goods sold, you'll have uh, gross profit is any MRR minus that. Now that's all we need, and then we're going to have to know as far as the, the financials, but we need to know... <clears throat> how many what was our churn rate for the month or or retention rate either way um we'll put retention rate for the month let's say maybe it was 95 percent so only we lost five percent of customers for the month um, and all this is going to be going to the calculation um so so after we have this information i think we have enough so let's calculate it so to calculate lifetime value of a customer we simply say, and you could do it total revenue per customer, but the more accurate way, I believe, is to say gross profit per month per customer <clears throat> as the basis. So that number is simply going to be the total gross profit divided by the customer count. So you're making here $15.20 per customer. And we also need to know the average life of a customer measured in months. Now to calculate that, we simply say, well, if the retention rate is 95%, we, that means one minus that is how much we lost. And so we get 5%. And then to figure out the average life of a customer, we just take one divided by that and you get the number of months. So if you lose five per, an average or a cohort 5% a month, then the useful life is 20 months for the average customer because you're going to lose 5%. Over 20 months, you go to zero. That's a simple calculation for it. Uh, so average life. So now that I know the gross profit per month per customer, $15, so I'm making $15 after cost of goods sold per customer, and the average life is 20 months. I simply say customer lifetime value equals the total um, expected life of a customer times the average amount per month, $304. So that'd be the lifetime value. We'll do, uh, how do I do this? Maybe 
top and thick bottom border. Pretty simple calculation, but definitely if you've never seen it or you're new to SAS, you know, you might not know how to calculate it. So this is a free template. Customer lifetime value calculator. Okay. Now, don't forget, check out more uh, financial models and templates at www.smarthelping.com. I've got hundreds of fully fledged financial models, five and 10 year startup models, a lot of cool calculators and tools there. So get on over there, check it out. I'm going to put this in a Google Sheet link so you can access it for free. And um, yep, that's all I got for you. So that's customer lifetime value. Take it easy.